Hey everyone, it's Lily from Park Point. I've got another great kickboxing and interval training workout for you today. Uh, today, make sure you've got your MyZone heart rate monitor if you have one. So go ahead and put that on. Grab your water bottle, a towel, clear your space. You also will need a pillow. And if you're on a hard surface, you'll want a blanket or um, a mat. So go ahead and grab your items and let's get ready to go. Let's start with our warm up and our cardio kickboxing. So from here, let's start our march. Take a deep breath in and out. From here, heel taps. You pump the arms as if you're jumping rope. This is your low impact option. Otherwise, hop and switch. Going. Let's bring left foot forward, bob and weave. Keep breathing. Bring those hands up by the head. Back to heel taps or air rope. Stay light on those toes. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Right foot forward, bob and weave. Good, keep tapping those toes. Get that core engaged. Good, bring the feet together, roll the shoulders back. Okay, both shoulders. Okay, elbows. Hold on. Okay, let's turn those into quick hugs, neutral stance. So remember that shoulder roll. Let's speed it up. Bend those knees a little more deeply. Keep it going. Now we're gonna drop and hook, drop and hook. Take it down, twist, down, twist. So make those legs work. Keep the core strong. And release the heels so you can turn over a little bit more. Four more. Three. Two, and one. Okay, we're gonna do a combo. We're gonna do a jumping jack. We're gonna cross to the corner with a jab, single jack, and then step forward and back. Uh, you can always do low impact, stepping out and in. Otherwise, here we go, it's jack and jab. Stay light on the toes. Keep breathing. So remember, this is your workout. Push as hard as you can, as long as you maintain good form, good breath work. Keep it going. Let's do four, three, two, and one, just jumping jacks, high impact here or low impact. Your choice. Okay, let's keep the feet wide from here. You're either gonna jump or lift up onto the toes, reaching up, drop down into your squat, cross punch, and come back. Lift, squat, cross punch. So up and cross. For more work, get low. For additional work, add that hop. Now it takes more muscles to land. 
So really control your landing, nice and smooth. Okay, let's do four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's pulse it out. Knees wide, hips back, chest up. Keep that guard up, down, down, down. Keep those knees out over the ankles. Draw the navel in. Good, toe heel it in. Shake it out. Start left foot forward from here. We're gonna jab, cross, jab, and duck. A little faster. Here we go, it's jab, cross, jab, duck. Good. Keep that chest up. Good, four more. Three, two, one. Okay, from here, step knee, step, touch down to the floor, or as far as you can. So, step, knee, and down. Good, push those hips a little bit forward as that knee comes up. Now, changing it up, we're gonna layer on punches. You're not gonna reach down. So a little bit of a different change, a little different vibe, but still moving. Getting that heart rate up. Now remember, the hand that isn't punching, keep it up by your head. Two more. Last one. So jab, jab, elbow, it's one, two, three, set. One, two, three, up to tempo, jab, jab, elbow. Keep the core very tight. Now, the elbow, the fist is against the sternum. You're moving because you're twisting. The arm is moving because you're twisting through your body. And you're really using those legs and those hips. The elbow comes out and slightly down. Almost there. Make sure as you twist, you release the back heel so you can get more, a bigger range of motion. If your back heel stays on the ground, you're gonna find this a lot more difficult. Good. Two more. Last one. Defensive front kick off the front leg. Lift the knee, kick out, back and down. Then round kick, lift the knee. Keep the toes level with the knee. And then point your shoelaces toward the front and down. So it's front, touch, round kick, touch. Front, touch. A little faster, it's front and round. Now, you can go as high as you want. Everyone's different, depends on your strength, your flexibility, and if you've done this before or not. You can go quick or a little bit slower. Two more. Last set. Okay, side to side, boxer shuffle. Take a breath. Okay, next combo. It's a jab, cross, slide, uppercut. So we're just sliding to the right and then coming from underneath. Jab, cross, slide, uppercut. Jab, cross, slide, uppercut. Really keep that core tight so you can make the movement faster. Couple more.
Last one. We're gonna keep those uppercuts going. Now we're gonna do a little advancing. We're gonna step it back. The footwork, you're gonna step front foot, back foot, front foot, back foot, front foot, back foot, turn. One, two, one, two, one, two. We're gonna do three, two, one, cross. Three, two, one, cross. So jab, 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 cross. Take it at your own pace. And depending on how much space you have, you can cover a lot of ground for more work. Or keep it small if you're in a small space. Okay, last set. Good. Face the front, left foot forward. Balance front kicks, bring the weight into your rear leg. Lift the knee. Try to keep the knee level. Pull the core in. Keep the supporting leg bent. And then if you want a little variation, go low. And then a little higher. Low. High. Let's do four more sets. Three. Two. And last one. Shake it out. We're going to take those combos into the other side. So right foot forward here. Jab. Cross. Jab, duck. One more slow. Here we go. Jab, cross, jab, duck. So it's core tight. Keep your mouth closed, chin tucked. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Two more sets. Last one. From here, step, knee, step, touch. Reaching down knee level to the shins or to the floor, whatever you can do. Push the hips forward as you bring that knee up. Now go at your own pace. Remember, you can go as hard as you like as long as you have good form and good breath work. If you're pushing yourself hard enough that you cannot tuck, then you need to slow down. All right, let's change it up. Throw on those punches. Try not to think about it too hard. Okay, we're going kind of quick. Okay, side to side, shake it up. Okay, from here, we're gonna jab, jab, elbow, set. Jab, jab, elbow, set. So it's one, two, three. Really twist. Keep that fist against the sternum. And the strike, your arm is moving because you're moving through the torso and the legs. The arm is not moving independently of the body. Last one. Okay, front kick, round kick, defensive front kick to the front, touch the foot down, round kick to the side. Slow, up to tempo, it's front, round. So you can go quick or slow it down. You pick the tempo and you pick the height. Front and side. Two, four, three, two, and one. Good. Shake it out. From here, it's jab, cross, slide, uppercut. Jab, cross, slide, uppercut. Up to tempo, here we go. Jab, cross, slide, uppercut.
Keep that core tight. Two more. Last one. Back to our advancing jabs. Make sure you have enough space. Stepping one, two, one, two, one, two. Switch, one, two, one, two, switch. So it's jab, 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 cross. A little faster. Cover as much ground as you can with good form. Look at your punch. Bend the knee, hands up, bring that knee up. Find your balance, core strong. Good, keep breathing through it. Good. Now, level change, take it down, up, down, and up. Your pace. It's normal to have one side be easier than the other. That's why we practice both sides. Two more. Last one. Good. March it out. Excellent job. Take a breath in and out. Go ahead and grab your pillow and a mat if you need it for your circuit training. It's going to be pretty core heavy. Uh, take a sip of water and good job. See you for the circuit. Moving on to our circuit training, we're gonna work for 45 seconds and rest for 15. Three exercises per circuit, two times through. First up, we're gonna take a burpee. You can take it down, stepping or hopping out, cross touch the pillow, bring it in, and then hop up or stand up. So, here we go. 45 seconds work and begin. seconds break. We're going to lay down on our stomach. We're going to put the feet, or excuse me, put the pillow between your heels, knees out, and lift. Feel those thighs off of the floor. If you like, you can rest your head on your hands or lift the chest. So, we're thinking about squeezing the glutes and nice and strong, pull that core in, push through the heels, make sure that pillow stays put. Really consciously squeeze the muscles. Okay, flip it over. We're going to go into a sit-up position. You can have the feet down, or if you like, lift the feet up. We're going to take our pillow, and we're going to do a halo with it. So here we go. Heels on the ground, or heels up, nice and strong. And I'm switching directions each time. Keep it 
moving. You can start with the heels up and put them down if you need to, but keep moving, keep working. Good. Okay, let's take it from the top, starting with our burpees. Okay, I'm gonna start in three, two, one. Here we go. Try to keep the movement through the body as minimal as possible. Core is tight. Do not let those hips rock. Modify as you need. Almost there. Keep moving. Okay. Froggers. So, onto your stomach. Pillow between your heels. Knees out and squeeze through the glutes. It's not a big movement, but you want to concentrate. Keep your neck neutral. Starting circuit two, we're gonna get a little more heavily into the core. We're gonna go down into a side lying position. Now you can rest your head on the pillow for this. Just kidding, you're actually gonna bring it up. You can have your bottom arm out. I'm not pushing through the elbows just for balance. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift top leg up, bottom leg up, and then slowly lower. Now I'm slightly lifting, so I'm really working through my core. We're gonna start at 45 seconds. Here we go. Top leg, bottom leg, slowly lower. Top, bottom, lower. And I'm balancing on the side of my hip. Top, bottom, and lower. A little bit of a challenge on the balance. You don't want to be too far back on the hip because then we move too much of the work to the front of the stomach. We want to stay right on the side. And moving it in to the opposite side. So find your balance point. You can use your hands to assist. So top leg, bottom leg, lower. Top, bottom, lower. Pull that navel in toward the spine. 
This is about control. We're not moving through too fast. Keep your neck long. If you need to touch the feet to the floor in between each rep, go ahead and do so. Otherwise, keeping the feet up in the air adds an extra challenge. Up, bottom leg, and lower. Up, up, and down. Three more seconds. Good. Okay, so from here, we're going to sit back on our hands. And again, balancing. We're gonna lift the legs, touch the pillow, and out, kind of started. I want you to pull that navel in for the spine. We're really getting into that core. You can do this with knees bent. You can straighten them for more work. The longer the lever, the more the work. Uh, very lightly touch the pillow. Try not to bounce. Keep good control over the movement and lean back far enough that you really feel the work. But again, you keep the spine neutral. You should not feel this in your low back at all. You should feel those abdominal muscles working hard. All right, we've got five more seconds. Two and one. Okay, from the top. Take your side lying position. Slightly crunch into the oblique. We're going to start in three, two, one. Lift, lift, and lower. Keep the feet in the air for an extra challenge or touch the feet down to the floor if you need to. Remember, everybody's different. Have different fitness levels. Everyone's had a different day. So you do what's best for you. Good. Almost there. 10 seconds. Turn it over, other side. Find your balance point, and here we go. Try to keep the neck long. Don't push too much through those arms, I know it's tempting. They're there only for a little bit of support to help with the balance. They're definitely not doing the work. Our core is keep, keep pushing. Almost there. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay, lean back as far as you and actually if you want an additional challenge you can do this without touching so time has started so hands up or hands back your choice touching in and out nice and smooth Pillow. 
You can always bring the hands under the hips and just work on extending the legs out and pulling the knees in toward the chest. Okay, so your choice. Here we go, 45 seconds. Pillow pass with an accordion sit up. Pulling that core in. We're doing a lot of core work today, so hopefully you'll feel this tomorrow. Let's see. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, we're gonna turn it over for some toe tap. So from here, you can tap one foot out and in, or you can hop both legs out and in. So on the palms or on the forearms, 45 seconds. Here we go. So hopping the feet in and out is higher impact. You want low impact. Just tap those toes. Keep the spine neutral. Stay strong through the arms. Push through the entire palm. Less than 20 seconds to go. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. And taking it down, back extensions. So, you can hold the pillow up over the head. Uh, lifting just the chest off the floor, shoulders down, or adding the legs in as well. Okay, here we go, 45 seconds. Now, if this becomes too much work for your shoulders, simply leave the pillow on the floor and place your hands under the chin. Think about creating space in between each vertebra. All right, good job. Let's flip it over. To our accordion sit up, the low pass. Start in three, two, one. Now, as you're feeling this, make sure momentum doesn't take over. Remember, you are in control of the movement, it's all you. Okay, turn it over into plank. Remember low impact, tap the toes, each leg in and out, or hop in and out for a little more work. Here we go. Keep that breath work smooth and deep. Try to breathe rhythmically. So if you sync up your breathing to your movement, you'll notice you can last a little bit longer. Let's see, 15 seconds. Take it down, 
back extensions. Using the pillow or skipping that part. If you want less work, hands under the chin. Otherwise, shoulders roll down and back. Here we go. Keep that neck neutral. Keep drawing the core in. You can focus on just lifting the chest off the ground or both, uh, use both the lower body and the upper body as I'm doing now. start with a quadricep stretch. So find your balance on one leg. You can reach your arm out and simply grab your foot right behind the hip. Keep that knee down right in line with the hip joint. Pull the low belly and spine nice and tall. Breathe. It helps to slightly bend the supporting leg and kind of push through the heel a bit. Then from here, hug the knee. Push your hips forward slightly, slightly draw the tailbone down, lengthen the low back. Good, and from here, good, knee out. Keep staying engaged through the inner thigh and the core, maintain that balance, and then move through crossover stretch. Feet are parallel, forward fold. Again, keeping the spine very long, pulling the core in. And bring it on up, moving it into the other side. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Hug the knee. And then pull the knee out to the side. Keep the core strong. It helps to grip the ground with the big toe. And then cross over stretch. Forward fold. the hands behind the back, shoulders up, back and down, pull the fist away, and then take another forward fold here. Release the hands, bend the knees, and roll it on up. Toe heel the feet in, roll the shoulders back. And forward. Take a big breath in. And out. Thanks for joining me.